Now let's see. Now th this is the main point. Let's talk about performance of contract. How does a contract get performed? And you know, once the contract is performed, that's the end of the contract. The contract was formed. This gave birth to a right and liability to the both parties. Then the both parties performed the contract. Now what? Now there's nothing left to be done in the contract. The contract gets discharged here. The game is over here. Once the performance is done, once the contract is performed, it brings an end to the contract. Because performance was the ultimate motive of the contract. The contract was made so that the other party performs it. A contracted with B so that B gives him money. B contracted with A so that he gets the bike from A. So B wanted A to perform and A wanted B to perform. And this gave rise to formation of contract. And after formation, if both the parties perform, the contract is over. It brings an end. The contract gets terminated. The contract gets discharged. Because the liability in the contract which the parties had gets discharged now. So the contract is said to be discharged. So now let's see how does a contract get discharged. First by actual performance we have already discussed this. When you perform the contract the performance is over and the contract gets discharged. Second by mutual agreement when both the parties decide to reduce the performance or to waive off the performance altogether then the performance is discharged and once the performance is discharged the contract gets discharged the contract also gets discharged by impossibility of performance if some impossibility arises in the contract if some impossibility crops up in the contract next is lapse of time lapse of time means when the time to perform expires you know if a contract was supposed to be performed within a particular or a stipulated time and if that time has elapsed, if that time has gone by, if that time has expired, in that case, the contract gets discharged. Now, the aggrieved party can claim compensation from the other party for not performing it. So, if the time is over, the time is lapsed, the contract also gets discharged. The next is operation of law. The contract lapses by operation of law. Now what do you mean by operation of law? Operation of law means where the law operates, where the law comes into picture. Now what are the times, what are the examples that you think the law would come into force, the law would come into picture? I'll give you an example. Let's say there are two parties who are in a contract and one of the party, one of the parties die. Or if either of them get insolvent, one of the parties become insolvent or one of the parties go mad. Now what happens in such cases is the law gets, the contract gets discharged by operation of law. Here, the law comes into force and the contract gets discharged. Next is breach of contract. Breach of contract means cancellation of the contract by non-performance. One of the parties do not perform the contract. 
they break the contract they had promised to perform the contract and now they are breaking their promise such a breaking of promise to perform is called as breach of performance or breach of contract because they have breached they have broken they have gone beyond the limit set by the contract they had to be within the four walls of the contract now they have breached it the contract the contract told them to perform it they have gone outside the contract they have breached the contract this is called as breach when you do not perform the contract when you do not fulfill the promise that you had made you are said to have breached the contract so when the contract is breached it gets uh, discharged however in case of breach the aggrieved party gets some rights and remedies which we will discuss in the next unit and final is accord and satisfaction accord and satisfaction is when the promisee accepts a smaller performance from the promisor let's say the promisor was supposed to give promisee 20000 rupees but the promisee accepts and agrees for a payment of 15000 only or 12000 only so now he is okay he is satisfied he gives his accord to a smaller performance this is called as discharge by accord and satisfaction so now we have discussed these points wherein the contract gets discharged so contract gets discharged by performance we have already done actual performance and tender of performance contract gets discharged by mutual agreement we will discuss this in detail uh, in the next slide impossibility of performance we'll discuss that after mutual agreement lapse of time operation of law these will be taken up after impossibility of so we are going to take these topics in detail and study and then finally we'll do breach of contract in the next unit okay there's one more point promises neglect now what do you mean by promises neglect promises neglect means where the promisee is negligent about his duty to allow the performance from the other side now let's say p and q enter into a contract p tells q that i want my house to be constructed and i want you to construct it so q says okay i will construct your house so q will construct a house for p and p in return will give q let's say 5 lakh rupees will pay him 5 lakh rupees but there was one condition to the contract that whatever the material that p would require rather the q would require will be supplied by p p will supply him all the material that he would require to construct q is constructing so q says to p that you have to give me all the material that i require to construct the house now p is negligent about his duty and he does not facilitate q the material that he wants to construct the house now because of promises neglect promiser cannot perform the contract and thus promiser is discharged of his duties of his liabilities of his performance under the contract and this brings an end to the contract between the two because it was very important for the contract that this condition is followed that p should supply the material to q but this
condition was not followed by P. He was negligent in fulfilling his duties under the contract. This will render the contract discharged. Okay. Now let's study in detail as to what are the things or what are the elements that are considered under mutual agreement and what are the provisions of law regarding those elements in mutual agreement. Let's see.